Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Messy Messy Edition, the Messy Mess. Honey, I don't know what Tiffany Haddish is doing, but she needs to take her 42 year old behind American Eterian self behind, behind down, sit it down, sit it down. Because it seems like we paying more attention to her life than she is, okay? I'm getting this from etalk.ca. They say Tiffany Haddish still has plans to adopt a child. And she wants the child to be at least five years old. I'm like, girl, did you just get arrested in Georgia about two weeks ago? Okay, we know you were married. Don't know what happened to your husband. Don't know why y'all didn't have children. We know you are on a kid's show that talks about the darnest thing kids say or... Uh, Something where kids express their opinions. Uh, I don't know. But anyway, it's a cute little show. I think I caught maybe a glimpse of it. I wasn't interested in it. But it just is what it is. But they seem to like you. You seem to like the show. Kudos. But girl. We know you like kids. I don't know if you want them many, honey. By you being a single parent. Or maybe you'll be married by then. I don't know. I'm pretty sure you can afford them. But don't be a child yourself. Okay, don't be stupid. Don't be ignorant and don't be arrogant. You just got a DUI. Do you know what a DUI is? And just say if you were to hit somebody. Say another child, teenager, young adult. That mad or, uh, mad organization would have been on your ass. Mothers against drunk driving. Okay. I haven't really heard anything else. I guess because you're a celebrity. They're trying to keep it on the hush hush. You could have been really mentally tired. Fell asleep at the wheel. You know, whatever. Worked too hard. Fell asleep at the wheel. Could have been intoxicated. Uh, through substance abuse. As far as alcohol or weed. Or, you know, any other type of medication. Prescription wise. Who knows? I don't know. We just heard. Hey. You got pulled over by Atlanta PD. While you were in Atlanta. In a very nice neighborhood. Okay. Huh. Girl. So the idea, we do know you had some very bad losses in 2021. Okay, you lost your relationship with Carmen. You lost your grandmama who raised you. Um, I'm thinking from birth. Because um, you were in the foster care system, I understand. And uh, you had some uh, cohorts in the comedy world and the entertainment world. You lost them too. So... I don't know why you allegedly wanted to hit the bottle or hit the wine or the, you know, cavassier or whatever. We can't blame it on the alcohol when you're out there driving. Because that's a serious offense, girl. That's a serious offense. Now, what if you had a child in the car, your child, your adopted child, however you want to see the child. And you were doing that type of infraction. Girl, that child would have been in the foster system. And I heard you came from the foster system. Okay, that's not a good look. Or you could have been killed, you and that child. And you were trying to get that child a better life, a longer life, you know what I'm saying? An important life to be more than what they thought they could be by being thrown in the foster system. You see what I'm saying? You brought that child of love, family, and devotion, girl. So I'm like, uh, I need you to sit down somewhere. I really need you to sit your 42 year old, should know this already, behind down. Okay. Because you're just doing too, it's too messy, messy, messy right there for you. You need to go to therapy, child. You need to go to therapy and then pray on all the top of that. Because you cannot be out there acting all willy-nilly, driving down under some type of influence. Whereas your vision, your motor skills, all of it, your mentality is impaired. When I'm talking about impaired, I mean you ain't thinking straight. Okay? You out there doing in and everything and it's not your normal behavior. You're acting out of your behavior and your characteristics, child. Okay? And you're operating the vehicle, which has an engine in it, is impaired as well. Okay? For the negative. So, no. I mean, if I was a judge presiding over your case, or I was a caseworker trying to give you the green light to or adopt a child, I would have to put no, 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 no. We got to deal with her mental issues first. We got to deal with her emotional issues first. Okay? Before we can entrust her with having a child of any age under her guidance. Okay? Well, I, I, no, 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 no. I'd rather have a person in the system and dead and in the grave. You know what I'm saying? Dead and in the grave. No, no, no. So let's get into this article 
that um, eTalk.ca had wrote out on Miss Tiffany Haddish. Uh, the author of this um, article was named Christine E. She titles it, Tiffany Haddish says she wants to adopt a child maybe at the end of the year. At the end of what year? 2022? No, we need you to get yourself together first. Alright? Then we need you to get your emotional side together. Okay? Before you could take on some more emotional people, little people that's in the foster system. Because they come with issues. They come with either behavioral, emotional, or probably biological issues, child. If you can't get yourself right, how the hell are you going to expect to watch over and protect and, and, and take care of some little one? Girl, just wanting a child is not to be to be a mother. It's the grandiose of, you know, power, prestige, honor, and all of that. It's in the Bible. Honor thy mother and father. Okay? Not honor thy father and mother, but honor thy mother and father. Okay? Mother is such a high prestige, such a highest pedestal that the Lord put us on there. You know what I'm saying? So we don't want to fail that at any at all cause we do not want to fail that. Okay, we may fail ourselves, but we don't want to fail being a mother. Okay? That's the highest possible position you can hold on this earth of ours, on this plane of existence. Girl! We don't play with that. It's not for play play. Being a mother is not for play play. And it's not given to the weak. It's not given to the weak at hard now. Because you got to have some strong mentality about yourself. Whew. And you got to be a God fearing person too. <sighs> but anyway. That was just my spiel. Going back into the article. It says Haddish herself spent some time in foster care system. Comedian Tiffany Haddish is opening up about her wish to be a mother. The Like a Boss star has expressed she would like to adopt someday and spoke candidly this week about her recent trip to Africa kickstarts her plans. Yes, she told Daily Pop via video chat when asked if adoption is still in the cards for her. I just went to Africa. I was just in Eteria and people were trying to give me their kids, Tiffany shared. I was like, hold up now. I got to get the paperwork right now. I just can't be taking kids with me child we glad there's a law that permits you to do the paperwork first and your background checks and checking all kinds of unhidden things in your closets in your bathroom in your house everything honey but the kitchen sink well put the kitchen sink in there too we need to thoroughly vet you and what i mean by vetting i mean researching doing a thorough check on this person to make sure they are capable of handling them uh, as well as someone else. Okay. That's what I'm talking about people. Alright. But going back to the article. It says. After cracking a few jokes. That celebrities who have famously adopted from Africa. Like Madonna. Angelie, Angelina Jolie. She said her adoption plans will go forward. On the right side of the law. I want to be. I want to do mine legally. But right now. Maybe at the end of the year. Beginning of next year. Okay. The girl strip actress grew up in the foster care system. Something she has openly spoken about last year. When she was. A guest on David Letterman's My Next Guest Needs No Introduction. She revealed that being placed in foster care at the age of 12 with her four siblings was the worst feeling in the world. Uh, you're, dropped in, you're dropped in these strangers' houses. You don't know these people. These people don't know you. You don't know if they're going to hurt you. You don't know... You know, you're just going to be a kind. You just don't have a clue what's going on. In May of last year, she first expressed her desire to adopt, telling Daily Pop, I'm taking parenting classes now to adopt. I'm like, girl, you need more than parenting classes, okay? You just lost a lot of people you love. You lost your pet, I understand, your dog. Uh, you lost your grandmama. You lost a relationship with Carmen. Where both of y'all were speaking y'all truths but telling two different stories about y'all relationship. So that's a hot mess right there. Okay, that's a hot mess. We need to be putting adoption off a little further down the road. Maybe four or five years, okay? Till we can get ourselves mentally, spiritually, and emotionally connected correctly. Okay, that's what we need to do. Then we need to clear up this DUI to see what substance you were on to make you go into that state that you felt you needed to operate a car. In your impaired state. You see what I'm saying? That's number two. Then we can get to the adoption part. Because you ain't you ain't passed step one and two yet, baby. You ain't passed one and two yet. But going back to the article, it says, um, let me see, hold on. She says she's going through some parenting classes. Okay. Um, 
I'm looking at, you know, five and up, really like seven. I want them to be able to know how to use the restroom on their own and talk. I want them to know that I put in the work and I wanted them. She also explains at the time why she wasn't interested in surrogacy. I don't want to pay nobody to carry my baby, neither, because then I have to go through a process of giving myself injections injections and all that stuff tiffany said she didn't reveal the secret that when she was younger and in dire straits she sold her eggs to make men's eat i already gave up here goes something everybody don't know i'm going to tell you when i was 21 i was really hard up for some money and i gave up a bunch of eggs i guess her eggs okay so who knows she jokes i might got some kids out here in these streets i doubt it though because i never got the bonus maybe somewhere though in cryo 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 somewhere during the interview she also spoke about the possibility of getting pregnant with the boyfriend in common let me tell you if i get pregnant this is all god tearing down all the walls all the barriers because definitely i have taken the precautions to protect now if that did happen we are going to hire some help and we're going to cry a lot and i'm not going to be a baby mama i'm going to be a wife okay well that must have scared the shit out of common because he's no longer in your life he's like uh -uh, i ain't got time to make no more babies i ain't got time to be in a real fruitful relationship where it's going to run down the avenue of thinking about having a baby no nah, let me just 86 this ideal and get the hell on and that's pretty much what he did tiffany that is pretty much what he did that was my uh opinion in this latest article it wasn't um the, the advice of what happened to tiffany okay um at the end of 2021 tiffany and common split with the rapper saying that the breakup was a mutual thing because they didn't want to be one foot in and one foot out he added i think it was just like we weren't feeding the relationship now th that's what he said but that ain't what she said okay our comments statements had it said on fox so hollywood unlocked with jason lee i was disappointed i was very disappointed i was like oh okay because that's not what you told me but okay see what i'm saying out her own mouth like i said out the mouth of babes she uh, uh tried to dispute what common had said but common was the type of person where i think he just want to be an eligible bachelor <laughs> I, don't, I think he falsely give these women the idea that he wants more and this, that, and the third. But when he gets all the cookies and the milk, he don't need the cow. He don't need it. All right. But when he gets the milk, he don't need the cow. So it just is what it is. When you start treating men like your kings, and women, uh, treating women, men, no, ladies, when you're treating men like they're, they're your kings before the actual wedding ceremony, then this is what you get. You'll be backtracking to be a wife, pretty much. Okay, and hopes in hopes that he would marry you but then again nine times out of ten no it doesn't ha it don't pay that well okay you just be a glorified girlfriend but that's pretty much it but going back to the article it says he might be the type of person that never really settles with any with somebody maybe he's like a bee going from flower to flower to flower i don't know she said i wish him nothing but joy and happiness you know he will always be cool she then added that the breakup could be the start of something new it's going to be a new opportunity, she said. Okay, and that was pretty much it. But she, she, she showed him, honey. She said he can go on from woman to woman to woman to woman, planting his sperm in every one of them, but he ain't going to never find happiness. That's what she pretty much said, honey. I like, girl, ain't a sister throwing salt on a wound that's already freshly open. Let that shit heal. Okay, bandage that shit up. Then put some oil on it, put some Vaseline on it, put some antibacterial stuff on it, let it heal so you can scrape it off. Oh, take well, take the bandage off and see that it's fully healed so you can move on, baby. But no, don't be playing with common, huh? Don't even mention him no more. The best type of advice is don't say anything about him. That means he's not relevant anymore, he's not hurting you anymore. You survived the pitfall of his some unrequited love, interest, or whatever. And keep it moving, huh? That's the best you can do. Keep it moving. But all, that's all I have for this particular video. Like and love, gotta have more. We're just trying to bump out as many celebrity, uh, other celebrities that I can talk about. Okay? It ain't gotta be all about Porsche world or the Real Housewives of Atlanta world. But they here in Atlanta. Why not talk about my girls? <laughs>
Okay. They here with me watching the comments and goings of how we get down in Atlanta. Some of it's kosher, but not all of it. Okay. Only some is kosher, but the majority of it is not all. Okay. They just out here for this dollar dollar bill. They're going to get it however they see it. They want to retrieve the glory fame and the fishbowl type of living. All right. But that's all I got on this particular video, guys. I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye-bye.